All right, Doug. Bush baby, Adrian Kenaway. Bush baby's favorite food Hold was Hold on. Start over, Doug. Uh, uh, Tom, can you turn it down a little bit? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Bush baby's favorite food was figs. Big, juicy, mouth <laughs> figs. <laughs> Bush baby was always hungry. Can I go and look for some figs? <laughs> yes. <laughs> His mother one. <laughs> can we rewind? It? If you like, she said, but don't go too far. <laughs> Bush baby like lived in the forest by the sea. He jumped. <laughs> <laughs> tree to tree looking for figs. But every fig he found was little and hard and bitter. They weren't good to eat at all. <laughs> Where could he find some luscious, ripe ones? <laughs> He's have you seen any juicy figs? <laughs> he has to call <laughs> Monkeys who lived in the banana grove. No figs, said the monkeys. Come and play with us, Bush Baby. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I'm too hungry to play games. Bush Baby went to the fine shite shoes. What is that saying? <laughs> Shy Janae, who lived in a hollow tree. Please, have you seen any ju <laughs> juice? <laughs> juice. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, yeah. <laughs> she ain't shook your head. Why don't you ask her own? <laughs> he is old and wise. He will tell you where to find some juicy figs. <clears throat> her own lived in the mang mangroves. <laughs> mangroves? <laughs> <laughs> Please, have you seen any juicy figs? Asked Bush Baby. <laughs> Heron nodded. If you follow that path to the island, you will find the juiciest figs in the world. But beware, Monitor guards the tree, and he is very fierce. As Bush Baby <laughs> bounded away, Heron called after him and watched the tide. Soon the path will be underwater, so hurry, hurry. <laughs> As Bush Baby hopped and bounded along the sandy path, crabs <coughs> dived for cover in the coral pools. At last he came to the island. Now, where was the tree that Heron had told him about? The tree with the juiciest figs in the world? <laughs> There was a tree. There was a tree. <laughs> Tall and strong with, sp <laughs> with spreading branches. <laughs> All of right. <laughs> Just looking at it made Butch Baby's mouth water. He couldn't wait to eat all those delicious things. <laughs> He would eat and eat until he was full. Bush Baby took a flying leap into the tree. He didn't see Monitor, the giant lizard asleep in the stripy shadows. <laughs> Mmm, that was the sweetest fig he had ever tasted. He ate another. One another. The juice ran down his chin and made his fingers sticky. Bush Baby leapt from the branch to branch, greedily eating every fig he could see. He startled a praying mantis, almost stepped on a centipede. There were so many figs, it was impossible to cram them down his into his mouth at once. That's why he dropped one right onto the monitor's head. Splat! Monitor opened one eye, then he opened the other, and looked up into the tree. Who did that? He snapped. Who dropped a fig on my head? Suddenly the lizard spotted bush babies. So there you are, he said, lashing his tail with fury. Then he opened his jaws wide and he hissed. Well, Bush Baby, you hate to come down some time. You have to come down some time. <laughs> and when you do, I'll be waiting. <laughs> Bush Baby was frightened that he climbed the tree higher and higher, up and up, until he reached the very top. 
soon it began to grow dark. The evening sky was full of flying foxes gliding and swooping over his head, and now the sandy path was covered by water. <clears throat> he would have to stay in the tree all night. His mother would be very worried about him, but the worst thing was that he had the most terrible stomach ache. He wished now that he hadn't eaten so many figs. <clears throat> at last, the stars grew pale, and the new day came, but Monitor still waited at the foot of the tree, hissing and spitting. I must jump for the beach, thought Bush Baby, but it is so far away. Jump, Bush Baby, hissed Monitor. Jump, and I'll catch you in my waiting jaws. Monitor's wor words frightened Bush Baby so much that he sprang from the tree up and up, higher and higher. He sailed across the water, landed safely on the sandy path. It was the biggest jump he had ever made. Bush Baby hopped and bounded back along the sandy path while the monitor lashed his tail on the shore. He couldn't catch Bush Baby now. Bush Baby's mother was overjoyed to see him. He told her all about his adventures and his terrible stomach ache. I'm not surprised after eating all those figs, you greedy thing, said his mother. Your, your trouble is that your eyes are bigger than your stomach. And if you look, you'll see that, w that she was right. Bush Baby by Adrian Kennaway. Read by Doug Group. Read by Doug Group. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> this is Brooklyn Blowback TV. We get naked with the truth. <laughs>